Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Um, so we are going to be playing some uh, Esper Doom for Toll today. I'm testing for the Mythic Points Challenge that's coming up in the next week on Saturday, September or February 29th. I don't know why it's September, um, but this is the list I've been playing. It got me to Mythic last month in the top 1200. That's my Esper Doom list. The only main board change I made was Treacherous Blessing down one, adding Cavalier Dawn. Cavalier has a nice synergy with blowing up stuff uh, that helps with the Doom Foretold chain. Can, when it dies, it also returns enchantment, so either Doom Foretold or Conqueror's Death are some of the good targets. Uh, sideboard kind of rechanged it up a bit. Uh, Devout Decrees, four of. I went with Remorse over Mystical Dispute to be more proactive in the blue white matchup. Uh, Legion's End is good against Mono Red as well as Cat decks. Uh, and then Liliana as another answer to the Dream Trawlers. So we're uh, been having web like internet problems all day, so I can't even like stream. I have to record. Um, we're at Diamond Three. We just lost a mono black, which was really stupid because I kept getting disconnected. So I missed a couple turns, and then just never recovered from that. Game one, we just timed out and was close to recovering on that one, and then we just got the chain of uh, Bolus's Citadel into combo win, which kind of took us out that way. Um, they went the four, the hasty knight into Yara into Grey Merchant, exact sees us, which was a tad annoying, but that's not usually the match I want to lose to. Um, one thing I'm testing out, so let me know how it looks. Um, with the overlay from Untap GG, I can pull up the deck list here. Also gives you kind of an indication of cards in hand, stuff like that. Sounds much better. Um, so we're going to go Fountain on one, so I'm probably going to put back, to be honest, I'm probably going to put back the temple, uh, yeah, let's put back the island. So it's kind of a cool overlay, that's a good card to have. Um, you can see like what you're going to draw, stuff like that. This also lets you track your win percentages. Um, this might be the... I think we see what our opponent's up against. Okay, so Hydra, Crisis, Murderous Rider. Um... Because we're going to Melites next turn, I don't think we want the other land. This looks like a Saltai kind of ramp style deck, Saltai control. We'll probably go Grazer and drop that down as well. So not quite the turn one Grazer, but they decided to turn two. Um, here, I think we just go tap land say go because what I want to do is flash this in at end step because they have murderous rider it'll take care of Teferi so I want to be able to bounce this omen of the sea this sticking around is actually kind of annoying with uh, doom foretold it gives them something to sack off Nisa decks tend to be a little iffy in terms of winning the creature tokens not getting with doom um, you know what, I think I want both of these because I want to Thought Erasure them here. Take out a potential Nisa for next turn. Interesting, they decide to Growth Spiral, so it gives us just more information. Like we weren't gonna take growth spiral from them. Yeah, we're gonna take Nisa here. That sets us up for Doom next turn, which is nice. Uro doesn't quite have enough fodder yet. And they got the Druid. Um, do I want White Cavalier here? 
probably. Because this turn is Doom Foretold, next turn's Teferi and Birth of Milides. This will get the Aboreal Grazer off the board. This is also an answer for Uro. And if they kill our Cavalier after, we'll get back like an Omen of the Sea or something. Okay, the Crisis. It's actually fine because what we do here, we Teferi bounce the Paradise Druid. And then they have to sack off this Hydroid Crisis. So they get like a Nisa, it's a bit worse. Play out Murderous Rider. We have another Teferi anyways, so it's not the end of the world. And if they exile for Uro... Um, I think I want the 4-4 four four just to protect. So I can go... Cavalier this turn. Or I can just set up uh, Teferi. So let's actually go play Teferi first. I know my responsibility. Down tick on this so we can get another land. This resets it. This just gives us a uh, virtual card advantage. We'll keep that on top. Could get something out of their hand. Reaching out to my internet provider. See why uh, my service is so terrible. So we're gonna play this out. We'll take the Liliana. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I'd rather keep those in the deck. So because the opponent keeps playing, my sequencing was odd there. I should have done it and then got the surveil. They keep playing into our Doom Foretold, so I'd rather they continue to sack stuff off. So they shock in there. They might be bringing Uro out. Oh, they just wanna... That sucks. So we held it too long. Them taking that hurts. So now we're going to lose this, and they took our thing, so not playing it out earlier kind of came back to bite us. Because now they can Uro. And we lose a Doom Foretold. So a Sweeper would be good, but they have enough in the graveyard. That's a little unfortunate. And it's Remorse too. Conquer's Death would be great off the top here. Haven't seen one yet. This just looks like Salti Ramp mid rangey control. Or, you know, another land, because. Okay, I'm just going to keep the Shatter.
a bit aggressive on their part. Okay, so they don't commit more to the board here. Sorry about that. Just trying to get my internet fixed. So they remorse here. They probably got us on this one. I need like a conquer's death this turn. We can kill this again, but they might play around like Doom Foretold. Okay, so they shock in. They just go Paradise Druid. Paradise Druid. Another board wipe would be nice. All right, well, it's card draw. And that is a board wipe. So we are taking a point of damage here. They can Uro back again. I'll play this land out because they know about it, but I'm going to hold this one back in case we draw a Dream Trawler. Nisa is not fun. What do they have in the grave? Because the, the problem is Nisa is just going to keep animating these lands. Go Rider. Do the Uro. Be greedy. Do the Uro. Doesn't help. This buys us another turn at least. So I'm not going to do this because I need to be able to play. Both the Kaya um, could potentially do it. I could blow up their land, gain the life. Really what we want is the Dance of the Mance, I think, at this point. That agonizing remorse really screwed us over. Nope. Ah, bad beats, bad beats. So, the nice thing here, get another Conqueror's Death, we get the remorse. Uh, it's a Nisa deck, so probably bring in those. They had Uro, but this doesn't hit Uro. This does hit Hydroid Crisis as well, so there's probably some utility there. Liliana. Probably not. So in this matchup, Thought Erasure is fine. Agonizing Remorse is fine. The Narsets are pretty good, but... So Treacherous Blessing come out. Cavalier Dawn I don't think is as needed. Probably shave a Teferi. Now they might bring in counters, but we'll bring in more discard. Uh, they're gonna ramp, so we probably want. Othakaya is also kind of bad here. Cut down two, and then maybe just a birth. Actually, probably want another Othakaya. Cut down an R set. So like Narset's good against Hydroid Crisis, but it just dies to everything else. I'm actually just gonna cut the, keep the births. And uh, I'd rather keep the Caius. Uh, no, let's keep the births. I need stuff to sack to uh, thing. Because if we take out all our cheap Doom Foretold stuff, then it doesn't become as effective. Um, let's just keep this hand. It's got lands. We can get rid of an early paradise. Want like a Teferi. Or a cheap enchantment. So 
go double white here. Growth spiral. It's just not getting there today. It's on a good win streak earlier. So let's just get the Melides going. It gives us something to do this turn. Will also give us a pretty decent blocker. That's Nisa, that's my guess. Ceratops. It's actually interesting to bring in against us, but really not that good. Like, I guess it gets around Conquer's death. So that takes them off from playing Nisa this turn. And the nice thing here is I didn't have to waste the Shatter the Sky. Can I have another one? We just block this turn, take one point of damage. Our life total is still pretty high. If we need to, in a pinch, we can Othakaya. Ashiok. So it's pro blue. You know what, I should have shocked them in the line just in case they had Mystical Dispute. It can block, like the Ceratops could get around the tokens, I also couldn't bounce it. Okay, well they scry here. They can still have Murderous Rider. They keep double on top. Well, gotta force stuff out of them. If they have Murderous Rider, they can also have Casualties of War, which hits uh, everything on my board. Interesting that they chose to scry before I played out my stuff. Wrecked. Interesting, they don't take the... Well, we're in top deck wars now. Okay, they have Uro. Uro can also be brought back. Problem is they're getting two card draws this turn, and then they'll get one off the Shatter the Sky. Really want Conquer's death here if possible. Okay, we got Trawler. They don't have enough to bring it back just yet. Because this can race the Dream Trawler. Okay, so they get rid of the Negate.
playing this out. If they have discard, they have discard, but it gains us some life. It also plays better with Doom Foretold. Yeah, they're gonna gain some card advantage. Okay, that's not a bad draw. At least he gets rid of Uro this turn. Unless they have like a Brazen Borrower, which they don't. This isn't as like surefire either. This is just Nisa. Crisis. Looks as though. Crisis six. That means I can't attack with the Dream Trawler through. And they just play out a rider. The fairy be sweet. Actually, not the worst. Because that takes the hydroid crisis off. Also gains us some life. It's really this that's going to be a problem. Also, the murder side doesn't go into the graveyard, so there's still a few off from Uro. And then I can attack in hopefully with my Dream Trawler. Oi, oi, not good, not good. Do they not have anything else? They hydrate, of course. Of course. So they have two ways I can attack through. That fills the yard further for Uro. Board wipe. How many have I seen? I've seen two shatters here. So I'm going to hold this into my hand. Just in case they have removal, I can discard to it. They have to get rid of one of these. This also fizzles this, so then they don't get it back as a second creature. Uh, and then probably another crisis. Damn, man. Yeah, and they have a murderous rider. This phone is at it all. I need a board wipe here. Bad beats, bad beats. Yeah, we're dead. We are dead. Is that di mid diamond three and we've lost two in a row. Let me just reset the client. Actually, what I'm probably gonna do, I'm gonna cut these as individual videos and then uh, we can see each gameplay. So, uh, if you want to check the next one, it'll just be labeled as such.